Okay, so I've gotten quite a far ways now on this new GUI builder app for Moe. Um, <clears throat> so let's take a look and see where we're at. So here it is, it's launching and uh, always check for updates, always a good idea because I'm going to be I'm going to be updating it frequently, probably, as we uh, discover if there's any bugs or anything. But here's the standard interface. So one of the things I've added now, uh, first of all, as you can see, that I, there's a lot more controls. Any, every one of these little, uh, every one of these little controls now can be edited. Um, you know, the highlight color, this little this box. This is the even line, the odd line here. Uh, the option menu, the highlight on the option menu. This little button here. Everything like if I want to change the background color, that button. Just lift that color right there, changed it, you know, changed up, changed the highlight color to something like, uh, let's make it yellow. There, so I'm not going to go through and do all this. Uh, change the global text color, or actually, let's go back to the highlight color, the text color for that. That's a custom one, so we can, we can change that so that, that works. So, get the idea uh, how this all works now. You know, some things that, you know, like for instance, the background of this, I can't figure out how to edit that. Uh, that's the only thing really that's really sticking right now. This is the uh, the background for the styles thing. So we'll, we'll talk about that here in just a second. So uh, I've also added the ability now to load and save templates. So I'm gonna load, uh, well first of all, let's look at these, these these buttons. The backdrop, you may recall from before that the backdrop is a, is a way of generating, uh, you know, different kinds of background colors to, to work off of, right? So uh, so let's just go back to white. Um, reset moi.css. This will reset the to the actual original uh, moe.css file for moe. So that'll reset it. Reset all resets all the situations, all all the controls here. So you notice we we just changed this to a yellow highlight. So if I say reset all, it's going to change everything back to where it, to where it normally stands. But it uh, does its best to match exactly what um, moe is. The only thing is, is that we don't. I'm not handling any gradations here. That's done on purpose. One, it's a little bit harder to program, but not impossible, but two, I'm not crazy about gradations, especially with the new flat design movement that uh, we're seeing. So I decided to to hold off on any kind of gradation um, uh, tool sets. So uh, um, the other, save template and load template. So this means that whatever you, changes you make here, you can save and, and then you can load them later. You can send them around so you can continue to tweak your interface. Uh, here's the file path. Now when you load that file path, it remembers it. It stores it in a press file. Uh, save the MOI, so, so the MOI CSS. Any make changes you, you do, do here, it'll save it automatically in the right place for you. Uh, check for update uh, and then uh, set the global text color. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to go ahead and go through and change all this stuff. I'm going to just load what I call a clown pass template. So here's a clown pass. So what the reason for this is that it's got funky colors all over the place. So you can see the one, this one background right here is the only thing I really can't can't change the color of right now. I also have not done the uh, slider in the uh, preferences area, the options area, um, but. Everything else seems to be working pretty good. So once you've got this, I can say, uh, I can look at and say, save the uh, Moi to C CSS. So let's, 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 before I do that, let's go ahead and launch Moi. And let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, screen. This is that background I was telling you about right here that I'm having trouble with. But uh, if you look at options, this line right here that goes around here is another one that I can't find any CSS for. So, but everything else, uh, I haven't done the slider yet, which I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. Uh, that's about the only thing, though, that I haven't gotten done. So let's close this now. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to basically say, save uh, the, the CSS file for this clown, for this clown pass. So I'll double-click here. And here you can see that now that clown, here's the clown pass. And here's the actual... Uh, uh, interface and everything everything works so here's the part that doesn't but I mean everything that uh, that I have the CSS for works notice we have these are all correct this is correct this is correct all of these are done right these check boxes are all done correctly the uh, menus here are done correctly everything works so 
So once I get, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the builds, uh, make the modifications to the Windows version, which I need to do, and, and I'll get this thing released tomorrow. So, uh, uh, so let's go back just real quick. I'm going to hit this reset, moist CSS and reset here, and then I'll go back here, close this, double click, and because we reset it, it's going to come back good as new. Again, there we go. There it is. Look, perfect. So, okay. So, stay tuned. We'll get. Uh, we'll get done. We'll. Uh, I'll have another video recording tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, with release. Thanks. Bye.